All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, take a fraction and add it to a whole number. So what I'm going to do for this is, um, when adding fractions, a couple things you need to remember is we have to add them with the like denominators. Well, I notice I have a fraction plus a whole number. So this fraction does not have a denominator. Chris, need more help? Okay. Um, so this 8 does not have a denominator. And so what I need to do is I need to say, well, how can I write my 8 as whole number with the denominator? Well, a little magic trick that we can do is put it over 1 because we know that 8 over 1 is equivalent to 8, right? 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8. So now by writing it with the denominator, now I have what we say two fractions. And then now I can use, oh, I remember, now in fractions you have to have the same denominator. Well, this has a denominator of 3, this has a denominator of 1. So to get them to be the same denominator, I need to find what is the smallest number that both 1 and 3 go into. And the smallest number is 3. So to get this to be, this is already 3, so I don't need to change it. But to get this to be 3, I need to multiply by 3. Now to keep this in, in this the same type of fraction, what we call equivalent fractions, I'm going to have to multiply the top and the bottom down by 3. So now I have 4 thirds plus 8 times 3, which is 24, 1 times 3, which is 3. So now, since I have the same denominator, I can add them. 4 plus 24 is 28. 3 plus 3 is 6. So therefore, 4 thirds plus 8 is 26 eighths, which, if I want to go ahead and see, well, you know, you can reduce this now, actually. So let's see if we can uh, divide this too. I can divide this both by 2, so I get 14 thirds, and then if I wanted to write this as a, uh, um, as a mixed number, I could say 3 goes into 14, 4 times 2 thirds. So um, 4 thirds plus 8 is going to end up equaling 4 and 2 thirds, or 28 sixths. Yeah.